What is up guys and gals, Rekabilly here. Today I have a new mini mini game for you. Now this is a very small and simple mini game. This is basically the uh, ball under the cup game. So if you don't know what that is, um, basically you have three cups. Underneath one of the cups is a ball and the person moves the cups around and you have to guess which cup has the ball. Like you have to keep your eye on it and try not to lose it. So that's basically what this is. Right here, I know for sure that this one has the ball, and you can see the ball above the cup right there. Um, now, if I click this button, which will appear after I guess, if I click this button, they will start to mix around, and I have to keep my eye on that one for as long as I can. There we go, and I can see that it landed in the same spot. Correct. And if you notice, this time, it just lasts a little bit longer, the mixing and matching of which one goes where. And it looks like it actually went into the same spot. Now that doesn't actually always happen. It can go anywhere it wants. I'm going to watch it one more time. Wow, it stayed in the exact same spot this time. That's pretty crazy. Okay, let me see if it if it goes to another one and I can show you guys what happens. Can you keep your eye on it? I know it can be pretty tough at times. <laughs> I still think I know where it is. Pretty sure. There it is. I think it's on the right side this time. Correct. Okay, and then we'll go one more time. This time, I'm just going to look away. I'm going to totally guess which one it is. <laughs> I have no idea which one it is now. So if I get it wrong, then I start over and the mixing doesn't last as long. And I'll explain how all of this works afterwards. So I'll just go to the middle. You can see that it was the one on the left and I guess the middle, so it was wrong. And yeah, so let me go ahead and explain how this works. For this mini mini game, there's a lot more commands than I'd like to explain than I normally do, but I can go ahead and explain in short detail of what's going on here. Basically, these command blocks are deciding um, which one of these will switch. So if I give myself a redstone block, which will be one that, which will randomly be placed inside here. So let's say I put it on this one you'll see that the two and one switch and I can just do that over and over and they'll keep switching if I press the middle one then those ones will switch and if I do the last one then the last ones will switch so that's how that works and then it just randomly decides where to place this redstone block now to guess if you have one or not by pressing on these pressure plates it powers this redstone which goes and does some things but specifically right here it detects if the cup or this minecart right here has a score cup of one and I actually gave these minecarts a score so if I go over here I have a little reset um, set the score cup of one to that position score cup of two um, actually I didn't need to set the score of cup to the rest of them they could have just been been zero but this way it makes it easier to to move them around so if I press this button it resets and the one all the way to the left will be the uh, the score cup of one and actually I can use that reset whenever I want like I can come in here and if I screw this up then I can just come over here click this button and you'll see that everything is reset and they all have the right score so if I guess this one that's correct um, as for this this basically is just deciding if the game start is equal to one or or if the game has started um, so it places a redstone block here and then it will randomly start switching those around so I can actually show you guys that right there so that is basically deciding well these command blocks are copying that here and basically this redstone or this uh, command block is deciding which block to place the redstone block in here 
Now it's too fast to actually see it, but it is being placed in there, and as soon as I stop it, you'll see that one appears. So that's what's going on there, and now they are all mixed up. That's actually what happens when you press this button. It decides when you are changing, or when the, um, the cups should be changed around. And it actually has the uh, plus equals and I'm using this this is a new addition for 1.8 in command blocks that allow you to add read or subtract um, I think even divide or percent I don't know all sorts of things um, with your commands and your scores so I have a score of switch and a score of points switch uh, is the one you can see on the sidebar that decides how long these ones are going to to um to mix and match points is how is how often you get it correct so for instance right now you saw it went to 10 and it stops if i guess correctly i'm so lucky because i didn't pay attention to which one it was if i guess correctly now if you pay attention to the switch sidebar again you'll notice it goes up to 30. So it's adding 20 points every time you get it right. I don't know which one it is, so let me see if I can guess it. Nope, it's this one. So now that we start it over, it's going to set it back to 10, and then it's going to go on from there. So every time you get it correctly, it adds 20 points, and it takes longer, and you have to keep your eyes on it as long as you can. It gets pretty tough after a while. Um, let's see here. Do I have anything else specifically that I need to show you guys? Um, no, these are just deciding when to place a block here to allow this to test for. This is guessing, oh, that's to see if you have guessed in order to place down the pressure plates and the button. So the rest of it, not too important. It's just so that you don't press the, the um, pressure plates after you already guessed. So after I guess you see that they disappear or if I guess correctly that is they'll disappear and then the button appears once I press the button the button disappears and now nothing is shown until they stop moving now I can go and guess again and then you'll see the button appears again so it's just a matter of um, of deciding when to show certain things so you, so that you don't break it or continuously press the button and make it rotate as long as you want um, so yeah, that's the idea. It's pretty simple actually, and it took me only a few hours, but I'm pretty happy with it. Now I didn't make it look all pretty, but still fun to play with. And if you notice the uh, villager there, I got my speech bubbles implemented into this, and I have a video showing how to do speech bubbles, um, which you can check out. So if I press this button, you'll see that he talks. I'm just too quick for you. <laughs> And let me just guess correctly, and if, if I press it again, it's another random one. Wreck Billy made this, just so you know. <laughs> so that's the idea. It's pretty simple um, and fun to do. But yeah, if you guys like this, you can download it. The link will be in the description. Um, but basically, this is just a fun one for me to play around. I was bored one day at work, and we didn't have anything to do. So I made this. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.